Listen up, Chemketeers, because CNEN is going to teach you how to use the 3D print exchange to create your own molecular models within about two minutes. Start by steering your browser to the NIH Print Exchange website. You'll need to sign up for an account, but that's quick, easy, and free. Once you've logged in, click on the Create tab. Here, you can input a structure from the online databases PubChem, the Protein Data Bank, and the Electron Microscopy Data Bank. I'm using PubChem to create a model of Firefly Luciferin, a compound that helps illuminate the rear ends of insects. Once you've found your molecule of choice, copy its ID number and paste it into the Print Exchange website. Be sure to select which database the structure came from before you submit it. Within a few minutes, you should get an email from the Print Exchange saying your print files are ready to download. The STL file extension is one of the most commonly used in 3D printing, so that's what I'm going to get. This is when you turn things over to the 3D printer and its software. What's that? You don't have a 3D printer? Well, odds are you can find one nearby, at a university like I did, or even a high school or public library. The experts there can also help you get started, and you can take them out for a cup of coffee to thank them because, well, you're going to have time to do that. I, however, have the power to speed up this recording by about 20 times. See how the printer first puts down a base? That's called a raft. And notice how the printer holds up atoms within the molecule by making little pillars for them to sit on? Those are called supports. I'll take care of those later. After two and a half hours, my model is ready. I can tell because the printer chirps like a happy droid. Good work, R2. So now my model is ready to take home, albeit with a few hangers on. So to make it look pretty, I'm just going to pop those guys off with some wire cutters. Ooh, tricky. Maybe my bare hands. Once you remove the raft and the supports, you're left with your 3D printed model. And time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to catch all the latest CDN videos.